Leanne Campbell and I'm going to be playing Leanne Campbell. That's weird, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, I'm Ray Quinn and I'm playing Archie. Well, this show, P. Price is Dead, I think is going to shock a lot of people. The title's shocking in itself. It came about because I've been friends with Mr. Peter Price for over 20 years and I've got that many stories to tell that nobody knows. I thought the stage at the Royal Court would be the perfect spot. Archie is the new boy. It's his first day at work. He's come in to be Pete Price's brand new producer, having the last producer leave. He's been uh, instated into the new role. He's all excited. He's young and vibrant. He's a little bit geeky, um, but actually he's, he's quite smart as well. He's quite a smart individual. He's very caring. Um, he's very um, charming in a way, um, endearing. Um, and in so many ways, he's, uh, he's the saviour, he's the hero in, in, in the uh, production of Pete Price is Dead. As you can imagine, Pete's reaction to the whole thing was quite dramatic. I know, shocker. So we're at the races and I said to him, do you fancy being in a play about yourself? And he's like, what, what do you mean, what are you talking about? I said, well, I was having a joke with the gang at the Royal Court about a play called Pete Price is Dead. But don't worry, you can be in it with hardly any lines because you die in the first scene. He was sold, he was delighted, and he couldn't wait to be part of the team. Leanne Campbell phoned me and said, Quinny! It's like, hi right, babe, how are you? I haven't spoken to you for ages. She went, I've written a play. And I said, written a play? She went, yeah. What's it called? She said, Pete Price is dead. And I went, what? <laughs> uh, it, was, it was the most surreal thing, really, uh, to hear this. And she explained a little bit about it, and she went, you have to be in it because I've literally written it with you in mind, so you're up for it. I went, well, as soon as I get dates and everything's confirmed, yeah, I said, but without a shadow of a doubt, even before then, I said, I'm, I'm absolutely interested. Um, but I was, I was blown away when I got the script. Absolutely blown away. It's personally, personal message, I guess. I'm really proud of her. I've known Leanne a long, long time. And uh, I know she's been such an amazing talent at the radio station for so many years. And now Radio City, of course, on The Breakfast Show. Uh, but as a friend, I think this is a big, huge step uh, to take into writing and also being involved in the whole story as well as part of the main character. And it's, it's a huge step and I couldn't be more proud of it, really. It's, 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 um, I'm honoured to be a part of it. The best part of rehearsals is laughing. There's not many people in the world that could come to work and uh, laugh and forget you're working and enjoy the people that you're working with. The main reason for doing the show was not just because Leanne wrote it and it, it felt like it was a part, real part of the city about to sort of go back out there and um, make a great show. The most part was working with friends who I grew up with, listening to Pete Price, Leanne and friends who have had in the industry for years, like Lindsay and everybody involved is so talented. So just working with a bunch of scousers really, <laughs> in my city, doing a show for my city, about my city, it's quite patriotic and humbling and exciting all at the same time, but coming to work and laughing, literally crying laughing, is, is the best part of our day. This is a show for everyone. I wouldn't say it was for a certain age group. I can't think of anyone I know, whether they're over 16, because there's a few naughty words, right up to 80 years old. You will just laugh at the jokes, the topical, the jokes that you can tell in your front rooms, the jokes that you can tell in the pub, but more importantly, the, the jokes that I know the Royal Court audience absolutely thrive off. So if you watch all the shows of the Royal Court, there's something about this show that you'll find familiar that you'll love like all the others but in my opinion it's just a little bit different maybe because it's based on my job so who do i think is going to like this show i think everybody everybody in liverpool anybody from liverpool who knows liverpool and knows pete price what he's like what he's done the story about him and who he is as an individual and how crazy and funny and lovable he is um it's the whole story behind him at Radio City and 
not just that, the gags, the jokes, it's one after the other. You'd have to come and see it three, four times so you, you can you get them and you hear it every single joke because there's that many. P Price is dead in three words, okay. Bonkers, unpredictable and energetic. I think we've all lost about two stone in rehearsal, so God knows what we're going to look like at the end of the run. It's hectic. It's outrageous, but most of all, it's hilarious. We're writing and getting involved in theatre is concerned. I can definitely feel a spin-off coming on. Let's get everyone together. Be ashamed to waste the set.